हाउ विल दिस सम बी सॉल्व उर्वशी ग्रैंड पा एंड आई एम गोइंग टू द मॉल वुड यू लाइक टू जॉइन अस नो आई कांट अमन व्हाट हैपेंड टू यू उर्वशी व्हाई आर यू सो वरीड अमन आई एम गेटिंग ट्रबल्ड बाय दिस क्वेश्चन आई डोंट नो हाउ टू सॉल्व इट वेट आई एम कॉलिंग ग्रैंड पा एंड ग्रैंड मा ही मे हेल्प यू ग्रैंड पा एंड ग्रैंड मा प्लीज कम इन उर्वशी इज कॉलिंग यू Hello little kids. How's your day going? Absolutely good, Grandpa. How's your holiday homework going on? Not that good, Grandpa. We are trying to understand subtraction up to 10, but it's a bit tricky. Don't worry, dear. We are here to help you with your studies. Subtraction is when we take one number away from another. How can we go about it? Uh let's say you have 10 toys and you give away 3. How many toys will be left with you? 4 toys? No, that's not a correct answer. The correct answer is 7 toys. I'll give you another example. Uh let's imagine we have Ten cookies. If we eat four of them, how many will be left? That's easy. We will have six cookies left. Excellent, Urvashi. You're catching on quickly. Uh, do you know about subtraction sign? I don't know what subtraction sign is. Aman, do you know? No, I also don't know, Urvashi. Okay. I'll tell you the subtraction sign when something is taken away. We say it is subtracted and the sign is Oh, now I understood. Tell me something more about subtraction. Okay, I have a question for you. You have to answer it. Uh tell me if you have 10 apples and I take 6 away of them, how many do you have now? Grandma, four apples are left. Am I right? Aman, you are right. Aman, do you know about back counting? No, grandmother. Okay, let me show you. Here we have the number strip. When we subtract, we always start with the bigger number. Let's say we want to subtract four from eight. So eight is the bigger number. That's right, Urvashi. Now let's count backward four boxes on the number strip, starting from eight, eight, seven, six, five, four. We reach four. Exactly. When we count backward four boxes from eight, we reach four. So. Eight minus four equals four. That's so cool, Grandma. It's like a game. Learning maths can be fun, Urvashi. Counting backward is a helpful strategy for subtraction, especially with bigger numbers. Can we try another one, Grandma? Of course, Aman. Let's subtract three from seven this time. Seven, six, five, four. We reached four again. Excellent. So seven minus three equals four. You are catching on quickly, Aman. Thanks, Grandma. I'm getting the hang of it. Remember, whenever you are subtracting, start with the bigger numbers and count backward to find the answer. It's like finding your way back from a big number to a smaller one. Thank you, Grandpa and Grandma, for helping us understand subtraction. Learning is more fun when we do it together, isn't it? That's right, Urvashi. <laughs> We are always here to help you learn and grow. Let's talk about subtracting zero. 
What happens when we subtract zero from any number? I'm not sure, Grandpa. Think about it this way. If you have five candies and I don't take any away, how many do you have left? Oh, I still have five candies. Exactly. When we subtract zero from any number, the number stays the same. What about subtracting one? Good question. When we subtract one, we are just counting back one number. Like going from seven to six? Precisely. If you have eight stickers and you give away one, how many are left? Seven stickers. Perfect. Subtracting one is like taking one step back on our number line. Now, what happens when we subtract a number from itself? That sounds tricky. Let's use an example. If you have four apples and you eat all four, how many are left? None. Zero apples. Excellent. When we subtract a number from itself, we always get zero. What does subtracting the number before mean? It means subtracting the number that comes right before it. For example, what number comes before five? Four comes before five. Right. So if we subtract four from five, what do we get? We get one. Perfect! When we subtract the number that comes right before, we always get 1. Let's try vertical subtraction. It's like stacking numbers on top of each other. Let's subtract 2 from 4. 4 minus 2, 2. How do we do this? We start from the right side. 4 minus 2 equals... Great! Now let's try another one. 3 minus 1. That's 2. So our answer is 2. Vertical subtraction helps us organize smaller numbers. Let's solve a real life problem. You have 10 cookies. You eat 3 for snack and give 2 to your friend. How many cookies are left? Oh, I need to subtract twice. First, 10 minus 3 is 7. Then, 7 minus 2 is 5. Excellent teamwork. You've solved a real-life subtraction problem. Remember, math is all around us. We use subtraction every day without even realizing it.